Hi, I'm Gail Antes, Jose Rizal University, Master's of Science in Entrepreneurship. I am a wife. I am a mother of three. I am actually a Christian missionary from the States. I moved here five years ago, and the avenue that we chose, my husband and I, to share the gospel to people was through business. So we created several businesses coming here to the Philippines, um, and that was who I was prior to September 2018. Um, I never dreamt of being a business person. I know I wanted to be a teacher when I was young. Uh, back in the States, I was a corporate executive. My husband it was, and still is, in the healthcare industry. Um, when we came back here five years ago, we put up businesses in Mandaluyong City to create jobs for the community. And that was the only reason why I became a business person. Because we thought that, we felt that Christianity needs to be practical. What we thought of is to create businesses, um, to show God's love to people, create employment. Our vision of the company is one job equals one generation. Um, we were both not business people. We were both people who just wanted to make Christianity practical. It was about love, it was about authorship, it was about power, it was about being empowered about yourself. Um, JRU helped me professionalize the businesses. You know, it's hard when you're, when, when you're not a business person, but you want to really do something great for the community. It can't be just all hard. And we know that. Like I said, Christianity is a practical faith. And you can't just be all hard. That's, that's, it's not going to work. So coming to and enrolling in the MSc program of JRU taught me and my husband to professionalize the entire business. We've had business ventures that failed. Um, you know, not being business people, not knowing how to professionalize the businesses. We had business ventures that failed. It's just really great, you know. You know, at, at our age, we know that life is about failing and life is about getting up. And I think we have to go back every single time to our wives. And our why is always to give glory to the Lord. And succumbing to failures, succumbing to sadness and depression doesn't give glory to God. When you fail, um, it's just by faith that you move forward and you say, something's better out there for you. Like God's the one who appoints you and creates opportunities for you. And this might not be that. And you, you get up every morning and you just say, there's something better out there. Um, there's, another, there's another plan that God has for you, a better one than yourself. So that's how we did, that's, at least that's how we did it. You know, JRU MSc, like I said, I looked into um, AIM, I looked into Ateneo, Ateneo program. Um, AIM is a million pesos for the entire program. Uh, Ateneo program is 500,000. The JRU program is 150,000. So you ask yourself, right, this is so cheap. Um, am I getting something out of this? So I compared the gurus of Ateneo and AIM to the gurus that teaches, who, te who come here to teach the JRU program. All the faculty people who come here to teach us are all graduates of AIM, graduates of Ateneo, and we have a professor who is a graduate of Harvard. And for 150,000 pesos, for 60 days, for one year, you get all that. I mean, really, your ROI, as a business person, you look at your ROI all the time. 150,000 pesos is really nothing. Um, compared to the learnings that you get. So it's not just, um, a JRU is really a, the most practical MSc program that one can ever have. And it's not just practical, it's really fruitful and you'll really learn so much from it, especially with the gurus that we have. I think each one of us have been given a platform and a purpose. Um, for me, it's by God. You know, each of us are different in our walk in faith. But I believe each and every individual has been given a platform and a purpose. Um, I may not have thought that I am an entrepreneur growing up. I really did not. But it was a platform given to me um, to really serve the purpose that I have. Um, and it's not easy. Being an entrepreneur is not easy. It's only glamorous in social media. So that's what I have to warn. I want to warn the kids. It's only glamorous in social media. But what people don't see behind the social media posts are the nights that you don't sleep, are the days and hours that you have to work. But 
when you become an entrepreneur, I think what we need to realize is you need to be purposeful and impactful, not just on your own personal lives, but on the community that you are serving. Because when you have a purpose and you know that you have an impact on the community that you serve, it becomes easier. So I, I tell the kids now, it's great to be a business person. It's great to be an entrepreneur.